This is really weird. Um, my name is Tiffany Clendenning Sasueta, and this is my story. As a child growing up, there was always love in my home, but we didn't have very much money. My father was in and out of correctional facilities, leaving my mother to support her and myself alone a lot of the time. So I grew up knowing that I couldn't always have the things that the other kids had. At the age of 15, I got my first job working for, fast, for a fast food restaurant and started helping my mom here and there with the bills. It may not have been a lot of money, but it was mine, and it was more than I had ever had before. Back then, my ambition was to be a manager at McDonald's. By the age of 16, I was. Later that same year, my aunt offered me a job with her company as an office receptionist. Around the same time, the economy started getting bad. Unfortunately, I realized that the receptionist is almost always the first to go when the company starts making cuts. So after jumping around a few more receptionist jobs, I finally realized I wanted, I wanted to be important. I wanted to be important enough that a company doesn't want to lose me. I wanted to be an asset to a company. Even though I always knew continuing my education was the next step I needed to take, I still lacked the drive and motivation to make it happen until my daughter came into my life. I looked at her beautiful face and thought back on my childhood. Whew. All the trips to Disneyland I never got to go on, all the new school clothes that I never got to buy, and all the toys that I always wanted but I knew I couldn't ask for. As a parent, I want to give my child the world. I always thought about her future. I also thought about her future, and I wanted my daughter to be proud of me, to be proud that I educated myself, to be proud of the job that I have, to be proud to take me to career day one day at school and say this is my mom. Studies have been done and proved that a child's parents, that if a child's parents graduate college, the, chi the child has a higher chance of going to college and graduating also. I honestly hope that's true. I remember watching Schoolhouse Rock with my dad, and somewhere in the opening it always said, knowledge is power. It's probably one of the most common sayings, but it's also probably one of the truest. After finishing school and going back to work, after finishing school, going back to work was so different. I wasn't just mechanically doing things like I was before. I understood the business. I understood how and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, sorry, I lost my place. And I understand how that affects the business overall. Having the knowledge of all these things that I've learned here at Charter College has enabled me to make myself an important to make myself important in a company. Another saying I'm learning to live by is you get out of life what you put into it. It's not always instant gratification, but the wait is definitely worth it. This applies to any aspect of life. I will continue to educate myself and I will continue to work my way up the ladder. When I walked into Charter College, I met a gentleman by the name of Mr. Tassone. When I met him, I put, he was the ATB teacher, also known as the teacher who helped the students without a high school diploma. From that, from day one, he encouraged me that I was capable of meeting all my goals. Throughout my time here at Charter, he has always been a constant rock that continued to push me towards my goals, even at times when I felt close to giving up. He is one of the many teachers and staff members staff members that truly do care about the students and their education, and, would and I'd like to give him a special thank you. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here on this stage receiving this certificate. The reason I told my story in such depth, depth is to prove a point. We all have trials and we all have excuses, but we all have the, the ability to rise above them and succeed.